So, uh, you probably recognize at least one of the actors in there. Yes. <laughs> yes, you know him as Brainiac, but you also may know him from his roles on Buffy and Angel. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie Martin. <laughs> So, Jay, so many of your roles that you've done in the past have been so big, so much larger than life you really took up. This is, seems like a much more intimate kind of role for you. What is it that attracted you to this project, and how did you approach that role? Um, the thing that, appro that attracted me to the project was the script. Uh, Guillaume sent me the script, and it was a really tight, uh, compacted story with only two actors in one setting. Uh, it reminded me of a submarine, like Das Boot or something, but smaller. Um, and um, I mean, basically, you saw the you saw the beginning of it. And basically, during this, most of this episode, the, the audience, we have to figure out if this guy is lying or not. You know, why is he down there? Is he saving her her life, or is is he going to end her life? And I thought that that just that would allow for uh, a kind of attention that would just kind of be like a high-pitched note the whole time you're watching this and you're just waiting to find out what happened. And I thought that that would just be brilliant. I like scripts where you don't know what's about to happen. Um, and I don't really want to, I don't want to give away whether, what the answer to that question is, to tell you the truth. Um, but I think that the char my character um, knows pain. He's had pain in his life, and uh, and that attracted me. More than that, I probably shouldn't say because I might ruin the ride for the crew. Yeah, but what I what I can say about James and uh, Michelle, they, they, they did a really good deal. I mean, I mean, they were the chemistry a little bit. The two actors was really great, and um, I think people are, are gonna really dig the the downplay episode when when they're gonna see it because. Uh, well, what I can say is that the, the ending is really good, like you say. We, we're going to give you the end of the, the movie. You, you'll have to see that by yourself. But it doesn't suck. <laughs> really, really, really doesn't suck. Yeah, it's really, actually, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those things where I, I, I kind of found, while we were shooting, I was like, man, this feels really good, which is either like, this means it's going to be horrible or fabulous. I don't know. And then I saw it, and I was like, oh, yeah, fabulous. Good. You know? um, and yeah, the, the the crew was fabulous. I didn't understand a word you guys were saying, <laughs> but uh, the, <laughs> yeah. um, but I kept watching the monitor, uh, you know, and and all the shots looked great. And uh, we were actually we were ten blocks away from NATO headquarters in Belgium, which I thought was really cool. Um, uh, and then yeah, that, it, it was an easy shoot. Michelle was fabulous to work with, and it just it seemed like it just went over. It, it went by too quickly. Yeah, yeah, it was really a great, a great experience, and uh, and what I can say is that the, it's probably the episode in the, in the first season which will be the closest to a Twilight Zone episode. So you really have that 60s, 70s feels when it when when you'll be watching this episode, and uh, that's what we, we were trying to get. That you don't really know when in time you are, because uh, that's one of the things which is wrong with Metal Zone is that. Each story being different and taking place can take place in a different time space, different dimensions. Uh, you, you never know what you're gonna get in an, in an episode, and that's something I think the people are gonna enjoy in the show. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And the, those Twilight Zones, I've always wanted to be in one of those black and white Twilight Zones. When I was a kid, when, when I was a kid, all we had to, to watch was like Planet of the Apes. Which Depressing, right? There's not a lot. <laughs> so you know that Star Trek reruns, and that was good. But the only new stuff was the Planet of the Apes TV series, which I'm sorry, man, it's terrible. <laughs> but uh, 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 I always watched the old Twilight Zone episodes, and I always thought, man, and Rod Serling is dead. Damn it! <laughs> I grew up. I want to work with something like that, and I think I finally did. You want to tell us what we're going to see next? Okay, so now you're going to see the first episode of the season, which is called uh, King's Crown. Um, it's a 
really different is it's, uh, it's more action oriented. Uh, there is fighters, knights, robots, and uh,